What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to episode 837, baby. We got a 2021 Indian behind us, man. Oh, she's a stock one, but she is a little pretty, ain't she? I tell you what, man. Uh, yeah, Indian's really nudging at me. Please come pick me one up. Please. It's a scout. Uh, this is Maika Apex's uh, motorcycle right there. Great one, my man. Great one. Beautiful stuff. And yes, we feature all kinds of bikes. So get yours in at info at insanethreadlebikernews.com. Don't forget the second half of the show. Stay tuned right here. And you'll be breaking over there. Anyway, today, I wanted to spend some time on this story. I was actually going to do it yesterday. But this one has to deal with two riders. Well, a passenger and a guy riding in front. And his name is, and the reason why I want to cover this one is because he's a nationally known tattoo artist. His name is Jason uh, Rigstad. And his daughter-in-law wrote in to me. And I was like, damn, man. Really? Motorcycle accidents are getting worse and worse. And what's even worse about that is the hit and runs. We got a story I'm going to cover on that as well, but this one, I guess the car pulled out in front of them, or truck. They were both ejected from the bike. The driver refused to do a blood alcohol test, and the family has been having nothing but issues trying to get justice in this case. Let me read you uh, the email. Hi, my name is Terry. My father-in-law, Jason uh, Rigstad, uh, and of course, uh, you can Google him. He is nationally known. And his girlfriend were out riding their bike on April 26th of 2022 in Abilene, Texas, and a truck who's seen them tried to rush across the highway because he thought he was more important. The bike and truck collided and Jason and Rebecca were ejected from the bike and died on impact. So sorry to hear that. The man who hit them refused a blood test. The police said they did not expect him to be under the influence. Well, that's funny. It's still your job to check them. The man who hit them refused the blood test again. The police said they did not expect him to be under the influence. But this man has posted all over social media about how he is a hardcore alcoholic and he didn't even start to try to get sober until a month after he killed two people because his wife left him. Sounds like a douchebag, doesn't it? A loser who has no business on the street. If the cops see that post or saw it, why isn't it anything being done? He admitted it. It's CYA. That's what's going on. Because they could have done something at the accident scene or pulled his ass in and did a blood test from there. The crash report is out. It states that the truck was in the wrong and the police department has not made an arrest and said it could be years before they do. Wonder what else they got on their plate that they can't take care of a situation like this. But isn't that law enforcement always dragging their feet, but when they're held to the fire, they cry and whine and moan? The Attorney General has shut us down, and no lawyer in the state of Texas will take the case. I would suggest, Terry, to get in touch of, and I wish I had his name, uh, Stubbs, or uh, Law Tigers, uh, they're real good, or a Confederation of Club uh, type of lawyer. 
But get a hold of the Law Tiger. See where they'll uh, get you on something like this. I had uh, somebody comment on my post explaining everything who said to contact you. You might be able to help get the word out and see if we can get the police department on a roll. I, I, you know what? I really hope for you uh, that we can uh, get the word out there for you. It is a sad stuff. Let's go over and put some faces to... Yeah, yeah I'm selling my boulevard. <laughs> uh, put some faces to this. There is Rebecca, and there is Jason. A lot of people, when they see this in the news, or hear it in the news... It don't hit them because they don't see the person. And here they are. It looks like, you know, a great couple right there. You can tell he's a tattoo artist and working on a bike. Working on a bike. There again is uh, Jason and Rebecca. Now, I wonder though, because I seen on this, if this is the truck that was involved in the accident. I can't say for sure it's on the Justice for uh, Jason and Rebecca page, but if it is, that is holy cow screwed up. And you're going to tell me that the cops can't do anything about this? Let's see what else they got here. Uh, there's some more pictures of them. These are living, breathing people that got killed because some driver thought it was more important to get across the lane, and the cops didn't feel like it was important enough to do a blood test for the family. Uh, they look like a wonderful couple there. Uh, they really do. That looks like the motorcycle right there. Uh, let's see here. They were uh, messing with them. It looks like uh, Facebook was. Let me see if the, uh, there's a picture of what looks like the motorcycle. So if any of the attorneys are out there listening, get a hold of them, would you? It looks like they need a lot of help with this situation. It looks like they're getting jacked around by the police and the attorneys. Yes, it looks like that. So help them out. Let's get them uh, some justice, everybody. Uh, again, justice for... Uh, let me get back to that. Uh, I'll put the links in the uh, description box for y'all. Um, sad state of affairs. Anyway, let's go to the next story. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in the second half of the show with uh, China now. Yes. United States, we have it pretty cool. But damn, you go over to Europe, they have a whole different way of thinking about stuff. They'll just ban your ass when they feel like you're a scumbag. We know this has happened to the banditos out there. We know it's happened to the angels out there. I'm talking where they come and ban your ass. They don't give you a second chance. Hell no, they'll go in there and ban you, send the cops in, and start shutting you down. They're crazy over in Europe. Crazy. We thought we had it bad here in the United States. No, we don't. No, we don't have it as bad as they do. They're, all, they're right on par with Australia with their stupid bikey laws. But anyway, here's what we got here. And this is out of Reuters. Germany raids bans the Hells Angels rival United Tribuns. Watch, I screwed that one up. I guaranteed I screwed that one up. Uh, I'll just call them United, man. So, you know, no disrespect, but hooked on Phonics Hollywood. Uh, Germany banned the United uh, Tribunes. Uh, let's call it that one. A rival to the Hells Angel motorcycle gang saying the group posted a serious public threat and was responsible for a raft of violent crimes. 
it, it, it never ceases to amaze me with these cops when they do something like this. You would think you wouldn't want to know who's a part of the organization if you're on their ass because the patches tell you. When you take off those patches, because they're just not going to stop, you don't know who the hell they are. So your reasoning for doing something like this is ass nine, if you ask me. Now, cops searched 108 properties in nine states in tandem with the announcement of the ban, confiscating weapons including baseball bats, machetes, brass knuckles, a 3D, uh, 3D printer, I guess, is bad now to have, that was believed to be used to produce the knuckles. Well, they didn't have... Uh, they, they took away a baseball bat? You can't play baseball over in Germany now? Machetes, you got a lot of woods over there. Brass knuckles, come on, it's dangerous out there, out there in Germany. Come on, you got a war going on right next to you. Have to be prepared. The interior minister said the ban affected about 100 members of the group in Germany. The group, as well as its 13 chapters, will be dissolved and their assets seized. Interesting. They did just do that, man, whenever they feel like it. Unreal. Their assets seized. Man, I'd be hiding everything right now. Hiding everything. Uh, quote, members of the United, uh, I'm just going to call them the United, okay? Group have committed the most serious crimes, sexual offenses, human trafficking offenses, attempted murder. Uh, this is Interior Minister Nancy Fazer said in a statement, that's why I have banned the United Tribune. What? How can you do it? Interior Minister, uh, that's why I have banned. Don't you guys have any courts over there or anything? Now, it was formed by a Bosnian boxer who was interested in martial arts and fitness, but the Interior Minister says the group strives for power on the gang scene. So, yeah, man, they, like, outright banned them. They said, uh-uh, we're taking your shit. Unbelievable, man. Uh, you know what? Thank God we live in the good U.S. of A. Even though, you know, Australia and Canada have to be right up there with Europe. I don't know if it's because of their traditions that are thousands of years old or something like that. But they just think different than us. Unreal. China now is going to be joining us right now. Stay right here. You're going to be taken over to the second part of the show. Uh, make sure you subscribe to that channel and also hit the like and uh, the bell over there. That way it does automatically play for you. If not, you have to take the X step to push play. Make sure you do it. Rock on. Stay two for, for, for the second, second half, half of, of this show. show. Motorcycle, Motorcycle Madhouse. Madhouse. Morning, Morning Mayhem. Madhouse coming, coming in the studio, studio right, right now. now. Rock, Rock on. on.